Hey, what's going on? Nick Unsworth here, and I'm a kick business coach, and I'm on an absolute mission to help you find your purpose in life, to help you love what you do for work every single day, to help you be the rock star that you are meant to be, to make more money than you ever thought was possible, and to have more time freedom so you can actually enjoy the life that you're living. I'm here to help you set your life on fire. Hey, what's going on? Nick Unsworth here, and welcome to Life on Fire TV. I am the CEO and owner of LifeOnFire.com, where it's my mission, our mission, to help you set your life and business on fire. So uh, today I've got a really great video for you guys, and I'm going to be talking about how to make sales using a webinar. And so out of all the different ways you can market online, out of all the different ways that you can sell your products and services, Using a webinar is literally the number one way that I've found to scale a business and to be able to create dramatic amounts of income and to do it all online. So there's no doubt about it. If you're trying to sell your products and services, you're always going to do best in a face-to-face -face situation one-on-one -on -one because you can build rapport and there's in your belly-to-belly. Now, for the next best thing is if you're going to sell to a group, of course, being on stage and being with someone in that room and be selling to the group is the next best way, right? However, a webinar isn't too far off. So have them to hear your voice, to see your slides, and to experience your content, add value for them, and you can have an audience of thousands of people if you'd like. So a webinar is the best way that we've found to sell products and services. So that's what a webinar is. And why we want to use it is, of course, because we can scale our revenues. We can scale the audience. And the next best thing about it is you can create a replay and you can market that thing on an ongoing basis. You can package and promote that information. So um, I don't want to spend too much time explaining why, web web why webinars are the best. But um, if you are interested in selling your products and services online using a webinar, then I'm going to break down the steps. Now, as far as technology goes, there's a couple different options. Um, you've got things like uh, GoToWebinar, which is what I really like to use because it's very consistent. So it, there is a cost associated with it. You know, there is a max of 1,000 people they can hold live. But it's very consistent. A lot of people use it, so people are comfortable with it, and it's easy to use as well. And it's reliable. It's consistent. Um, the next option would be for, um, you know, using Google Hangouts. You know, Google Hangout or live streams. Those are great, but sometimes there's tech considerations. And I found that sometimes those platforms can be a little janky to work with, a little bit tricky to show your screen and show your slides. The other thing is that, um, you know. Google Hangout, one of the benefits of that is that there's some SEO benefits so that if you do use a Google Hangout or use you know, the YouTube Live, that replay can go to your YouTube account and that can actually bolster your rankings to get up higher on YouTube. And that's great to be for your replay to get some search results and get found. But when it comes to actually creating your webinar, what I want you to think about is this webinar content is you want to position yourself as an expert and no matter what your products or services are, you want to think about who your end target market is. And really just take a moment to think about who's your ideal customer, right? And what is a problem that they have that you can solve? So for me as a business coach, you know, a lot of the problems that I see are that my clients want to make more money, right? They want to have more time freedom. So for me to explain how that they can get more leads, they can make more sales, those are problems that I overcome and help them with as a business coach. So think about who are your ideal target, you know, who's your ideal customer, what's their number one challenge or frustration, and then simply take that challenge or frustration, turn that into a webinar that's maybe 30, 60, or 90 minutes, and that becomes your offer to them. So once you have your webinar, that page is easy to market. You can use Facebook advertising and drive your target market to land on and opt in for that webinar. You can use um, your email list. You can talk to people. You can use that and promote and get people to your webinar to build up the audience for when you go live. And you know all the traffic strategies to get people to your webinar, those are things that we cover as well. We've got lots of Facebook advertising techniques and things and email marketing techniques. But in this training, I want to drill down on how to convert those sales on that webinar. So the format is absolutely critical. 
Because when you've got someone's live attention on the other end, you've got to figure they don't know you. right? They're there because they have a need. You have something that you're sharing with them to solve their problem and how and they're looking for your help, but they don't know you yet. So what happens is you want to open up your webinar and it's ideal if you have another team member or if you have a friend or someone else that can introduce you that's ideal. There's a reason why when someone speaks on a stage in person there's an MC and the introduction matters and when someone quote sets the stage and introduces you that is a very strong way to start because you already have that positioning coming in so that's something that you know when I'm coaching clients and sometimes we'll do coaching packages for their webinars help them frame up their content you know sometimes I'll even throw in emceeing their webinar making sure that it goes off without a hitch so if you can have an intro that's great the intro you want it to consist of things like your bio and credibility you also want the MC to do things like ask people to to focus you know and say that they've committed to being there and to turn off cell phones to hop off of Facebook and ask for their time and attention right so once you the speaker hops onto that go to webinar the most important thing I want you to do is have the biggest most ridiculous smile on your face because when you smile they can feel that on the other end and it's all about energy and it's all about tone when you're communicating on a live webinar and so I've had clients that I've made them put post-it notes of the word smile on their computers all around them because it's energy and they're gonna feel that and that helps with rapport and so when you open things up what I want you to do is have high energy you know maybe more than normal I want you to smile and and really just explain what's in it for them so when you get to the agenda and you're asking things and or excuse me when you get to the agenda and you're covering what they're going to get out of it there's the there's the acronym with them or uh, what's in it for me that's what your prospects are thinking I'm here right now I've got a need I want to get this problem solved what's in it for me so when you do that agenda in the very beginning then you want to use words like imagine imagine at the end of this video that you're watching right now at the end of you know nine or ten minutes you're going to know exactly how to frame up your content for a webinar so that you feel confident and powerful so that when you deliver a live webinar you're going to get the sales and create the profits that you're looking for in your business what would you do with an extra five thousand dollars in one webinar that you created you know and so basically when you're doing the what's in it for me you want to explain what you're going to cover those are kind of like the features of what you're going to cover and explain what the end benefits are what is the outcome of your 60 minute webinar what is the main benefit that you're teaching them and you know when you say things like imagine yourself 60 minutes from now having learned these strategies they start to feel that they've already done it it's called future pacing it's a very strong strategy that works very very well um, the next thing is after you frame that up and you've explained what they're going to get out of the webinar you're kind of pre-framing how they think right the next step is you want to start getting into your content now I want to encourage you that as you get into um, your content um, you're going to start with going through what I call your hero's journey so it goes from the what's in it you know the intro the what's in it for me which is your agenda and then when we move into content your first step of the content is really your your story your hero's journey so when you think of whatever you're going to teach and educate them you can use your story to relate that so in my case I can say things like you know as I sat fifty thousand dollars in debt you know and I talk through my story on how traditional marketing didn't work and that inspired me to learn Facebook advertising that inspired me to become a Facebook marketing expert and that's from that situation I used Facebook ads to go from fifty thousand dollars in debt to overcoming all of that and as I share the story every couple minutes I pause and I always relate back to the audience have you ever had a time where you were up against the wall you know so when I say that I was in fifty thousand dollars in debt people are thinking who really cares what's in it for me but I relate back and say things like can you imagine your, yourself when you've been up against the wall or you've had bills that you've had to pay that you weren't sure how you were gonna get it figured out you know so that as you're telling your story you wanna share something that's vulnerable it humanizes you and then as you become you have that aha moment and usually your aha moment in the story has to do whatever you're selling or whatever you're promoting in the webinar and then that's what shifted you to start the rise as the hero so as you tell your story you're also teaching and you're sharing nuggets 
about what it is that you're solving for them, what the problem is that you're solving. So again, intro, you've got the what's in it for me or the agenda. You've got your story and the hero's journey. And that in within that, that's where you're building your credibility. So instead of you saying, my name is Nick Unsworth, I'm a business coach, I sold a business by 30, I'm weaving that into my story so that it doesn't sound arrogant and so that people can really connect with me as a person, right? And it's a smoother way to do it. From there, you transition into your main body of your content. And in your content, you want to make sure that you give them the absolute best content that you have. The best. And a lot of times people say, well, I don't want to you know, give everything away because how am I going to sell my course at the end? And what I encourage you to do is give your best no matter what because when you give your best and they are just blown away at how good the content is, then that builds instant rapport. When you have instant rapport, they're going to want to buy from you, right? So what happens is give away your best content. I would encourage you to have three main topics, maybe five, that are big nuggets that they can take away to solve their problem. And as you go through the content, what I would love for you to do is if you have three main bullet points, go through the first one, go through the second one. I would encourage you to have images on every single slide. Change it up, spice it up. And as you're going through the content, be engaging with them. If you're using GoToWebinar, you want to be asking them questions. You know, have you ever considered this? You know, what is it? You know, what is your biggest challenge or frustration? You know, in the beginning of the line, as far as engagement goes, you know, I'll get on the on the call and I'll ask people where they're dial, dialing in from and build up the atmosphere. So you want to get people to engage and you want to get people to really feel like there's a lot of people on the line with them. So you're going through your content. Maybe you have three main bullet points. You go through one, you go through two. If you can, you want to have a testimonial to edify those two points. So in my case, if I'm talking about Facebook advertising, I might be teaching those two topics in one in one in number two bullet point, and then I might have a client of mine pop on and say, wow, I worked with Nick and I made literally over fifty-five thousand dollars in one campaign, you know, using Facebook advertising, and then talk through some of the benefits and everything. So you want to really make sure that, that you have an outside person to edify your content. If you don't have that, that's okay. But it's going to make your presentation way stronger, your webinar way stronger. From there, you move into that last piece of content that you have because before you transition to any offers, you need the microphone back. You need the rapport with you, right? So you finish strong with your best content and content bucket or bullet point number three and you just finish strong you give them the best stuff that you got really add value for them at this point you probably want to be around the hour mark and the next step from there is to really transition and a great transition slide is saying things like alright guys you do a quick recap and summary so I've taught you everything about you know how to set up a Facebook ad campaign I've taught you you know how to drive traffic I've taught you X Y and Z now what I'd like to do is share what's possible. You know, I gave you these strategies and you could totally take this and run with it. And here's the next step. You know, typically at this point there's two options. Number one is you can take what I just shared with you, which is everything you need to be successful, and you can run with it. And you can, quote, do it yourself. And that would be choice A. You can take it and do it yourself. Or choice B is to then hire me to help you do it, to, to actually to do it with you. And so that transition is a very simple one that walks you right into an offer and it's very, very powerful because the person on the other side looks at it and says, hmm, I can either do it myself or I can hire Nick or hire you to do it with me. And that's powerful because then you make the points and you say things like, how many times have you gone off or bought a course and you just tried to learn it all on yourself and it didn't work, you know, versus you know, if you hire me today, I'll help do it with you. And what will happen is that I'm going to shortcut that path it takes to become successful. And so it's a very powerful way to transition. And as you do that, the next step would be able to, to dive into your offer. And your offer, you can then break things down. It's a very specific, specific way to position your offer. So as an example, as you get to your offer, you want to make sure that you're explaining the high value benefits. You know, the benefits of, benefits of Facebook marketing or this course is that 
it's not just about the profits. It's about you know being able to create more income at any time that you'd like. You know what would you do with an extra five thousand dollars a month? Would you you know would that help you pay off debt? Would that help you put one of your children through college and you connect them to a greater emotional purpose? Because people don't want to buy in analytical things. It's it's the forty five year old guy that just got divorced that buys the red BMW M three convertible. He buys it because of emotions because he wants to feel powerful, wants to feel good, and he rationalizes it because the gas mileage is good, right? So you want to make sure that you're connecting them with emotions, and that's why you have that hero's journey. That's why you plant the seeds and you anchor things throughout the entire process. So as you get to that offer, you want to really connect with the deeper meaning of what your course is going to do to them at a high level. Then you zoom in and you give them a breakdown of here's what they're going to get as a step-by-step components and you lay them out so in my case it's we're gonna give you live coaching we're gonna go over the shoulder and we're going to work with you to make sure that your campaigns are successful we're gonna guarantee that they are with a 30-day money-back guarantee we're then going to give you our software program right so we break everything down and then literally total everything up because people are following along and they need to see everything that they're getting and so you end up with a total of all the slides and then at the very end you want to make sure that you then create what's called urgency and you have some scarcity so there's a reason why Macy's has these big two-day sales there's a reason why people um, you know have sales have coupons have offers because people need a reason to act now everyone wants to just wait and put things off so it's nothing you know cheesier nothing to be ashamed of the way I look at it is that our best clients make fast decisions. So throughout my entire presentation, I talk about when I made a fast decision and that things changed for me. I talk about how our best clients make fast decisions. So when I get to this point and I get to the end, I start to say things like, you know, now what we're looking for are people that make fast decisions. If you are very committed to being successful and you and you want to be even more successful than you are today, you know, make that fast decision commit and jump on board and take action with us today and sign up with us immediately right so we're getting people that want to jump on and take action now what we'll also do is we'll throw on what's called an ur an urgency bonus an urgency bonus to be the first 10 people that buy right now today are going to get something extra that's very very special so typically, we'll throw in a 30-minute call with me, which is normally valued at 500 bucks. You know, we'll throw in a piece of software. We'll throw in something that's going to really help them that has tangible value. And so what happens is that as they're going through, there's this conversation in their inner prospects' minds. They're nodding their heads saying, shoot, I really need this. I really want this. Uh, I don't know if I want to buy it right now or the money or they have all these thoughts. And then as they go through, your bonus becomes irresistible. And they say, you know what, if I'm going to get this anyway, miles will be one of the 10, right? And so what happens is you want to get them excited and you want to get them to want to buy. So when it comes to that point and you've got, you know, that urgency bonus, at, at that point you say, all right, guys, here's how it's going to work. I'm going to then put the link on the screen and the first 10 people that buy are going to um, get this this urgency bonus, you know, this fast, I call it the fast action bonus. And so what happens is you want to have all these people in your audience literally getting their credit card and getting excited to buy, and you have to tell them. You have to tell them because they're sitting there, and they're not sure, and they're like, I wonder if anyone else is doing it. And you say, listen, guys, now's the time. If you know in your gut if this is right for you, this is not a high-pressure situation. This is, you know, here's what we're offering. I've made it a ridiculous offer. We're going to bend over backwards, over-deliver, help you become successful, and all you have to do is grab your credit card and you know, take advantage of our, our one-time fast action bonus, be one of our first 10, join us in this live coaching program, and we're going to put up a link on the screen, and the first 10 people that buy are going to get to take advantage of that. And so what happens is you pause, and you have to wait, and you've got to wait until it's uncomfortable because you want them to be clamoring to get it. And then when you put that link on the screen, that right there is the moment where if you make if you have a hundred people live and you make a dozen or two dozen sales boom in one minute you've done it right because they're so excited to buy everyone buys at the exact same time I've done this literally dozens and dozens and dozens of times I've had over a hundred thousand dollars of sales happen within one minute imagine that 
you log into Outlook and there's just pages and pages and pages of, of emails that you get from your shopping cart that said new customer order, new customer order, new customer order, right? It's super, super exciting. And so if the orders kind of trickle in, you know that you've, you've totally screwed that part up and that's okay, you can always get better. But if you do it right, you get those 10 sales, boom, right off the bat. And you get a lot more sales as well. So that right there, it's it's creating urgency. It creates excitement. I found that our customers are super happy. We get ones that are really hungry to work with us, and we take really, really good care of them. So that's a big part. The other thing is if you're an industry like mine or you're, you're selling coaching or you're selling a service, um, we always have scarcity. And scarcity is totally legitimate. It's a marketing, you know, fall, it's a marketing tactic. But in my case, I give my time when I coach people. And that's what makes me different. You know, whatever you, you know, whatever it is that's your business, you want to think about what makes you unique. In my case, it's time. So we have a coaching staff and we give our time. So there's only so much time in the day, so we can only coach so many people. In a very recent product launch we did, in a webinar that we did, we have only 40 spots available. And that's great because you can say it's first come, first serve, and you got to jump on board. And that is so key because it gets people to, to, to the finish line. It gets them to actually take that action. And there's nothing worse, whether you're face-to-face -face or you're doing a webinar, there is literally nothing worse than someone that needs to think about it. That means you haven't done your job, you haven't handled all the objections. So you want to make sure that they, are, they, they have all the answers they need, you know, they've got their objections, handled and they're not in the I need to think about it mode. They're either a yes or a no. That's your goal. If it's a no, it's a no. So using scarcity, only X amount of spots available is a great way to do another sale. That happens also. You see that on QVC. You see that on infomercial. There's only X amount of units left. You know, it, it works for a reason. So that is how to make sales using a webinar and you know also I call it the webinar conversion formula and that literally has been our number one way to grow sales we can run Facebook ads we can take our email list shoot we can just promote it on social I could just go talk about it in the local community there's lots of ways to drive traffic but it's as simple as have a webinar and sell your products and services at the end and you can scale that literally across the world across the globe we've done it with you know, hundreds of our clients. We've done it in our case hundreds of times over. We've had six-figure promotions just via webinar. It is the absolute blessing uh, as an uh, of an entrepreneur. It is so good because it allows you to grow your business so fast. And so I want to just say that if you've been considering using a webinar to grow your business, make this be the video that you take fast action. Make this be the challenge right now that I set that you actually go out and put one together and get it done. Because once you start doing webinars, you get a little bit more comfortable with them. Next thing you know, you're growing your business from zero to three figures, to four figures, five figures, six figures, and just keep it rolling. So what I want to encourage you to do is share a comment with us and let us know what you have for ideas for webinar. Let me answer your questions. You know, write you know, below this video, let us know what your questions are, what niche you're in, what webinar should you do. You know, if you have questions about your headlines or how you set things up, let us know. We're here to help. So you know, if you're checking this out right now and it's on YouTube, comment below. If you're on the, our podcast and you're hearing this message, then definitely go to lifeonfire.com. Check out this episode. Interact with us. We're here to help. And uh, I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Get your webinar up and live. And I will see you soon. Cheers. I'm here to help you set your life on fire.